Carro. Hello my Gemini friends, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you financially. If love comes in, it'll be affecting your financial life. If, whoa, well we have balance for my Gemini friends. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. I feel like you guys have been having to be on the wait for quite some time and I think you're very much over it. Justice. Well, that's nice. You will have justice. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Are we standing up for what we need? Are we standing up for what we believe? Or are we letting things pass us by? Perhaps that's where the imbalance lies here. Good news. Things moving forward finally. Delays are over. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Whoa. Okay, so it's going to take great strength to have a new beginning. You need to cut away all that no longer serves you. It's almost like something you refuse to see going on there. There's an ending coming in. Something to do with a Scorpio perhaps, but an ending nonetheless. What's ending? Ooh, a transformation maybe. Ace of Cups, brand new job, brand new life, brand new you. It's going to take confidence to step into this new you, embody all that you are, and move forward as Divine has said you need to. All up in your head, stress, worry, aggravation, sleepless nights. So there's an ending or a transformation in the way you view emotional security. So I can see how being up in this energy would absolutely affect your finances. Delays are over, things moving at a fast pace. So you've been in halt mode, you've been up in your head, not sure what to do, and bam, all of a sudden it ends, a new start begins, and things start moving forward. Crossing this is children, your beliefs about how things should be. Now this could be about marriage, money, finances, walking away from childhood beliefs, walking away from viewing things as a child. In love, this is very much about soulmate energy. In money, this is about walking away from what you thought should be. There could be someone pregnant around you. Uh, there needs to be justice brought to a circumstance or situation. Mother figure, all up in their head. Temporary self-imposed prison. Someone could be worried about going to prison. Female judge sending them to prison or Justice coming to that situation, whatever that is. We have juggling. There's a lot going on, a lot of things happening at once. There's some news that has come in and it's causing someone to juggle their life, trying to put things in order quickly. And it is absolutely a victory. So that's beautiful. It brings you out of a temporary self-imposed prison about things. Justice is fair and just decisions will be made. A decision does need to be made here. And it's based on what you view as happy life, happy home, happy husband, happy wife sort of deal. So it could be about marriage and whatever. And if you're all up in your head about this stuff, you have a new job, say, to go to, or you had a new job and that whole thing is going belly up or whatever. There's a lot of stress here. There could be somebody who's, who's the f matriarch of the family or the unit that you're in that is going to make a decision that causes an end to a cycle and in some sort of way it puts an end to your mental frustration as well and brings about a victory. What's crossing this justice from happening? Not sure if you want to put in the work anymore. This is putting in the work, putting your own stamp of approval on things, really building yourself up. Uh, it's the opportunity to put in the work and you're just not sure you want to. You're not sure if it's just you stay or just you go. And maybe it's also that with all of this going on, you don't even feel you can work. There could be some health problems. There could be balance issues. Someone could have vertigo, I'm thinking, uh, with balance. It causes inner ear imbalance. Tell me about this Six of Cups. 
something to do with a soulmate or commitment to children. What you believed in your past is changing now. It's like your how you built your foundation on spiritually, religiously, all that sort of thing. How you were raised is changing. Challenging information coming in quick. This could be law officials coming in. Government, law officials. What is this ending about the death card, please? All up in your head. Great strength. Someone's about to feed you a, a, it's a tough pill to swallow. That's all I'm hearing. It's going to take great strength to master it. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. Turning your back on something because your ships are coming in elsewhere. Manifesting your ships coming in. But you see, we see his back, not the front of him. It's like you're not showing your hand towards the situation. You're turning your back on it. Tell me about this thing's moving at a fast pace. With the Empress, again, you could have two mothers, two pregnancies. Both of them your children, perhaps pregnant at the same time. I think this came out in the last reading too. I had a whole bunch of cards move across the. What is this? What is this mental fatigue and mental frustration here about? Goodness, there's so much you're not seeing. Your energy's off the charts. There's some sort of karma being paid out right now. Judgment is about karma coming around. What you reap, so shall you. Sh so shall you sow. And a decision. The divine bringing an opportunity that was missed prior, coming back around, and there's some sort of need to take control here for you, I feel. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, trying to build something solid and stable. End of a cycle. There's, there's an earth sign, I believe, that didn't want to put in the work and end of a cycle, or may. What is this Empress about here? See what I'm saying? The cards are everywhere. Trying to find balance in your emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. More going on than meets the eye. A toxic tie to something. To a mother figure, to something. Lying, cheating, stealing, and conflict. I knew that was all there. I felt it in the energy. I think you're very conflicted. I think you want to get out while the getting's good. There's some sort of tie that keeps you stuck there, stuck someplace, stuck something, something, something. Maybe there's some sort of part of you that is tied to the past. Maybe there's some sort of part of you that wants to move forward, but you just can't see your way forward. Can't see your way forward. I can't even. There's great sadness here. In some sort of way, causing sadness in this situation will in turn be a victory it's almost like giving their just desserts the hanged man asking the divine for clarity about why things ended i think you ask a lot of why questions tower in reverse trying to trying to avoid the same situation you went through previously and justice again libra not seeing the positive in this Temporary pause and action. Seeds well planted, unnecessary worry, and an ending. See what I'm saying? All up in your head about the past. Why do I have to go through this again? What is the deal? You could be dealing with another Gemini. You could be dealing with someone who has something on the side. You've been wanting to get out of a circumstance or situation for a long time. I think you're just so tired of it all. You're just really tired of it all. You are a light worker. I can't even. Man, that card's been coming out a lot. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. I am the angel of happy families. I am the angel of families. Happy change or addition is coming to your family. Two children, perhaps. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God. There's some sort of concern about what one of your children's going through as well. And there's some sort of guilt tied to guilt based on what you can help with and what you can't. 
you very well may be dealing with a significant other that's causing all, helping, helping, <laughs> is causing all of this as well. Trying to avoid a tower moment amongst the whole thing, but it's unavoidable. The tower, when it comes, it will come. I wonder if you're actually pausing, because last time's reading was about you becoming the tower. I wonder if you're actually taking pause on whether you're going to be that tower or not. There's some sort of pause here while you think and sort through the whole situation. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments because it seems a little bit all over the place. I'll talk to you guys again soon.